Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you um, a selection of um, seeds that you can start planting in February uh, as well as this that I've got from um, a shop, I don't know if it's left over from Christmas, it's kind of like a selection box and you've got different um, different mumps on it that you can um, open uh, and it should tell you when you can plant it from March to June. Uh, so we're going to open um, the February to May one. Uh, and then in the next video, um, I will plant that. Um, yeah, so we've got a selection here. I'm going to start off with um, some tomato um, seeds. And um, this is the third year I've been growing tomatoes. Uh, if you're starting out in gardening, then um, tomatoes is a good one to start off with because they're relatively easy to grow and get a good crop. And uh, the weather last year in the UK was really good, so I got... Um, I got some tomatoes right up to November because uh, the uh, varieties I plant and what I'm going to plant today are indeterminate so that means that they would carry on producing fruit until basically until the frost comes so uh, and the cold weather so that's so why I had a good crop up to November because of the warm weather last year. Um, so I'm going to start off with that and then we'll go through the others as well. Let me know in the comments what you like to grow. and. Um, what you have indeed, well, what you're going to intend to grow or what you're growing at the moment. So let's get on with the tomato seeds. So for the tomato seeds, I've got a propagator here. It consists of a tray um, at the bottom and um, just um, this tray here, which has got what we call cells. And then you get a plastic um, lid, which we put on top. And once we've planted the seeds and watered them, and then that just creates humidity. And then when the... Um, first leaves appear then we can transfer them to smaller pots to begin with um, you'll find you'll get two um, sort of what we call perfect leaves to begin with and you want to wait until the real leaves grow um, and then until you transport them to the um, smaller pots which I'll show you in the next video uh, when we get to that stage so all I've done is put some compost in here um, and then we're going to put um, some tomato seeds in. Now what I do with the tomato seeds is I um, I use um, some tweezers just because um, it's slightly easier uh, to pick them up with these seeds um, because they can be quite fiddly. Um, and then what we're going to do is put some more compost on top. So what I do is I normally put just maybe two or three seeds in each cell, but keep them keep them uh, some distance apart because otherwise you keep them too close together uh, when you come to um, transport them to the smaller pots. Um, you'll find the roots might be tangled together, although you can of course separate them. Um, it's just a bit easier, saves you a bit of hassle if you keep them separate. So I'm going to do that with the rest of these. And then we'll uh, just put some soil on top, just a light covering of soil. Push them down, push the soil down just to keep it on top and then we'll water them. So I've put about three seeds into um, each cell. Just going to cover up with a little soil on top. And tomatoes are best started off indoors. And um, they're best kept at a temperature between 15 to 21 uh, degrees Celsius. So I do on a window ledge or somewhere where uh, they can get some sunlight. And always use new compost as well, don't uh, get any from the garden just because it could be uh, contaminated. And you can either water from below, so put water in the tray underneath um, the cells, or use a spray bottle, which is the method I use. Okay, so we're just going to put that into each one. Covering the seeds, and of course, the market 
you can use it in such a variety of um, dishes and there's a few recipes on my channel I'll put links in the description and um, if you want to check them out I made over the past couple of years tomato ketchup um, uh, sweet chili jam uh, tomato soup so um, there's plenty of things you can do with tomatoes and of course to save you a lot of money in the long run because um, seeds are relatively uh, cheap to buy and what you get from them at the end of it and you know sometimes it doesn't work out but let's give it another go the first year I did chilies didn't get nothing got good results last year and then I'm hoping I will this year as well so that's about okay and then you yeah, just got a spray bottle I'm just going to lightly spray into each cell and what I've done as well at the top I've just written the name of the um, product so in this case tomatoes the variety is Alicia Craig I'm using I'm saying in an in, indeterminate um, variety so they will keep um, producing fruit until it gets cold and the frost appears and also the date as well just then gives me a reference point of uh, when I should expect to see some results so then we put the lid on and just put that in somewhere a warm place so with the um, chili seeds it's basically just the same method um, with chilies they just need a bit of a, a warmer temperature uh, 18 to 25 degrees uh, Celsius and um, because they, they just need that slightly warmer temperature and I think that's maybe why the first year they didn't work out that well um, and they're demon red variety this one there's so many different varieties so these are quite a hot variety um, so like before I'm just going to put a few seeds in each one um, and then cover um, with some soil and then put the lid on after that so the chili uh, seeds are now put a couple in I've put some soil on and I've watered them and so we're just going to put the lid on um, and then we're going to move on to our next one so for the cauliflowers we need a slightly different approach to the uh, chilies and the tomatoes so the variety I'm using is this uh, all the year round white cauliflower um, so what I've got here is um, some pots uh, need to be at least eight centimeters in width I've uh, just put some salt in and then what we're going to do is put a couple of seeds and one and two just one or two because obviously they're a much larger vegetable and they're going to uh, take up a lot of space um, so we need to do them in bigger pots and we're going to do as we did before just with the tweezers just get a couple of seeds and put them into each um, pot and then what we're going to do is put them into um, just some a tray, some you know, just shallow water, maybe a centimeter or so. And we're going to sit the pots in there for about 15 minutes, just uh, so the soil can take in that water. Um, and they do need a good supply of um, water, but not too much sunlight. Um, so, and then obviously when they get uh, large enough we can uh, grow them out outside um, so let's put the seeds in and then we're going to cover with some more compost so the cauliflower seeds are a lot smaller so they're a lot harder to see like so I've just put two in um, and you can sow indoors from January to March and outdoors from March to June or September to October and they need to be around about 13 degrees Celsius so not as um, high temperature um, as the chilies for example so we're just going to place them in the shallow water for about 15 minutes oh and I do need to just top up with a bit more um, soil as well so just to cover the seeds and then what will happen is we will see maybe in about uh, a couple of weeks we should start to see um, them sort of appear above surface so just cover some soil on there 
Like I said, I've never grown cauliflower before. So this is a first time. Okay, and then the last two things I'm going to show uh, today um, are just a couple of um, flowers. We've got some lavender and we've also got some uh, poppies as well. Um, of course, flowers are not only good for um, making your uh, home look nice, your garden, but also attracting insects and bees as well. So there's a benefit there as well. And of course, with the poppies, uh, poppies, uh, once you get the seeds, you're going to of course use them in baking as well so um, there's also that additional benefit as well so I just covered that and so we're going to let that sit in the water for about 15 minutes I haven't, I haven't um, covered these. I have seen some suggestions of maybe covering with a plastic um, sheet. Um, so I will just keep an eye on them and see how um, how they come out. So, okay. so after 15 minutes you can see how much water is left compared to what we uh, started with. So now the soil has absorbed uh, the water and then obviously we'll just keep an eye on that um, and just give it a watering as it needs it. So moving on to the poppy seeds, I've got a container here. You need to have quite a deep container for the poppy um, seeds because they need enough room for their roots to grow. If you want to plant them indoors, then February to April is the ideal time and then April to July um, outdoors. Um, and you're just going to sow, sow them thinly over the surface um, and they need an ideal temperature 15 to 20 degrees the seedling should appear after about 14 to 28 days now what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to just I'm not going to use the tweezers because they're really tiny the seeds and quite delicate so I'm just going to put some in my hand and I'm just going to sprinkle them over um, and then we'll just put some more soil on top. And like I said earlier, these seeds, um, poppy seeds, you can't eat these ones. But once you get the actual flowers, you can use the seeds from the actual poppy flowers in baking. So that's an added bonus as well as making your uh, house and garden look nice. So let's just sprinkle some over the top and then we'll add... Uh, the compost on top. So yeah, they're that minute, you can't even see them. Um, so let's just add some uh, compost on top um, and then we'll just give them the water. Just want a thin layer on top. And once, um, once they start to germinate and uh, Produce their flowers, a nice lot of um, different colour poppies because that's what it shows on the front. I don't think they're just red poppies, I think they are different colours, which would be nice. Obviously, red is the colour where most associate poppy with a poppy, obviously, symbol of Remembrance Day. Okay, and then we're just going to give that. A little watering on top and then the last uh, one we're going to do is the lavender seeds and the lavender of course is a lovely uh, color and they of course also help attract bees to your garden as well okay and for the lavender just move that over there in a second We're going to do in the terracotta uh, pots. Um, once I'm with some good drainage holes on the bottom, and I've just put them in a tray just to collect any excess water. 
uh, sewing time for these February to July um, and again these need about these need between 10 to 15 degrees um, and obviously you want to keep them moist as well but not to a higher temperature because it may uh, stop germination so um, these seeds are pretty small as well so again I'm just going to um, sprinkle a few um, over the top uh, not using the tweezers just because of how tiny they are you might be able to see these ones a bit better um, and the good thing about lavender is you've got a long window to plant them uh, roughly from February to July and then from July to September you should start to um, get the um, flowers just put a little covering of compost on top um, and then we're just going to water them So let me know what you've been growing or what you're um, going, you, what you think about, um, you want to grow um, in your garden or indoors. Another good one um, to grow indoors is herbs, especially parsley. Um, I've actually got the same uh, plants I started growing a couple of years ago, just uh, trim them and um, keep them uh, watered. And whenever you need some parsley, you can just chop it off the plant, give it a wash, uh, and there you go, saves you buying it. And it does produce a fair amount as well. Also growing um, mint as well. Um, as you see, there's my mint plant there. Uh, and there's the parsley plant, so I do just need to trim off a few of the dead ones there. Um, but like I say, they, they produce uh, regular crop so and um, that's something else that's good for you to grow and easy to grow as well and uh, good to get the kids involved as well so that's the stuff we're going to grow obviously I'll do an update video um, uh, when I do the next video for March probably and um, because we'll grow some more stuff in March um, and I'll give you an update on how these are doing if obviously I get any results in a couple of weeks I'll give an update then um, so you can see how things are doing um, okay so the last thing to do is just to have a look at our uh, box like I said earlier I bought this in a shop for it was very interesting uh, so you've got up there September to December you've got March to June so that's the one we're doing oh actually you've got two March to June oh actually yeah, you've got three <laughs> yeah, quite a lot actually so um, well, we've got one February to May, and that's the one we're going to do now. Um, and then I will plant that in the next video. Uh, so let's see what it is. Oh, oh, they're in the little pot as well. That's good. So I'm get it out. So we've got French marigold. Oh, that's nice. Uh, because um, I've not ever grown any marigolds. And um, they're, uh, they're going to be a nice uh, flower to add to the garden. Uh, it just says uh, petite blooms from summer through to autumn. Okay, and it's got all the instructions on the back. Oh, yeah, you can sow it indoors from February to May. Um, and then transplant from May to June uh, for flowers from June to October. Okay, okay, so we'll do that in the next one. I like the little pot in it. Um, nice flowers as well, because I never grown marigolds before. Okay, so we will do that in the next video as well as the update as well. So I hope that video was um, helpful and uh, giving a little indication of what you could grow in February um indoors um i do have some stuff to grow outdoors as well as it starts to get a bit warmer and some more stuff planned for next month as well as i say i'll, uh, I'll do an update video on how stuff's progressing uh, as it uh, 
well exactly progresses and um uh if you did enjoy the video and you found it helpful please do give it a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and thank you of course if you have uh and bring that bell for notifications of further gardening videos as well as other content as well and i'll see you again in the next video thank you very much bye for now